This is Fab Four. This is boats.co.uk's brand new charter boat. In fact, it's never even been chartered yet. It's absolutely box fresh. It's actually a 2020 boat, but due to COVID and one or two other things, it hasn't been used and it's just being put into service now. So they've invited me down to come and show you guys what this is all about. It's an absolutely spectacular yacht and we are, of course, going to do the full tour. So we're going to step on. Now, I mentioned these passerelles for stern two berthing, and this is exactly what I mean. You can see that this is how you get on from the quay and then the passerelle retracts away from the quay for security. So that's exactly the kind of thing I talk about when I talk about stern two berthing in the med. We've got the high load platform on this one. This is a Williams 395 tender, so a really substantial tender, and that platform just lowers into the water. Crew quarters are down there as well. We'll show you those, of course. But we're going to head inside first of all. We're going to go through this palatial cockpit area. Look at the size of this. What's nice is that you've got this seating area here, which is pretty typical for this sort of boat. But then you also have this, which is a lovely area tucked in, out of the wind, a really nice place to tuck yourself away. And also, of course, quite social because it gives you all this seating all the way around here. On this side then, steps up to the flybridge, we'll show you that, of course. But you've got um, the ice maker it is in here and the fridge. Somebody asked to look inside an ice maker once and I'm going to show you. That's what that looks like on the inside and the ice collects down in here. So that's that area. Let's head on inside. Now, the thing with these sun speakers is just how modern and up to date they are. It looks stunning. It's light, it's contemporary. I think this is silver oak. I think this is what they call a silver oak, this woodwork. It looks fabulous. There's a TV that rises up over on this side. And then you've got this amazing seating area all the way around here. This one over here then is just a little bit of storage and the AV equipment is in there as well. Obviously, this is all air conditioned and you've got the dining area here as well. What's lovely about this is this huge window that drops so low that when you're sat there, you almost feel like you're outside, but you're in the shelter of the interior, of course. The galley is directly opposite. We'll come around and take a look at that. So we've got the big fridge freezer over here. That one there is just storage and you've got storage along here. I won't open it all, but there's tons of storage. There's the extractor fan down underneath here as well. You've got the cooking facilities and you've got a Miele dishwasher. Sink is here, loads more storage, 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 all the way around. And then finally in this area, you've also got the wine cooler. And ahead of this then is the helmet. Again, look how spacious this area here is it just the whole boat is just so open all the way through it's great twin helm seats the helm itself is here there's a side access door so you can go from here straight out onto the deck that's a nice feature this one's got the joystick control the aventix joysticks so this links up the throttles and the thrusters so you can literally turn that twist it push it to the side and the boat will react accordingly so when you're in close quarters you can drive the entire boat from that and just command it with what you want to do and it links everything up and sorts it out for you. You've got the triple screens all the way across here. Other things we've got on here is the helm indicator here and the autopilot. These are the instrumentation for the engines and it's got the stabilizers on this one as well, the fin stabilizers. And then autopilot control is just there and switch gear across here. This is a lovely area tucked up here. That's very nice. But that that's a big area, isn't it? It's fabulous. Let's go and take a look at the lower deck. That's down these steps. Really nice, wide, open steps as you come down. And I think what we'll do is we'll head forward first of all. So up through here, it's a four cabin, four heads layout. So every cabin is en suite. This is the VIP guest cabin. Really big size. As you come into here, you can see just how much floor space there is through here. It is just a little bit of flickering. That's not happening in real life. That's just the GoPro arguing slightly with the LEDs. Nice little dressing area in here or desk unit. And then you've got drawers here. You can see how it's charter ready. Everything's all set up. Storage all the way along here. You've got AV in here as well somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Big TV up there. I think there's a DVD player tucked away somewhere. All this lovely concealed lighting down underneath here, down underneath here. And then again, this is all storage up along here, and it's even a safe in this one. 
and that's the sound bar up there for the TV. So this has its own ensuite. That's in here. Really lovely size. I mean, this is owner cabin standard, really, isn't it? Even though it is actually a guest cabin. We're in Calador at the moment. That's what Calador's looking like today. Absolutely beautiful. This is an opening window for a bit of ventilation into here. As I say, all set up, as you can see. There's a um, shower in here as well. And then if we come back from here, we can step down through. There's another cabin here. This is twins. I'm pretty sure you can make this up as a double if you want to. Yeah, I'm certain, in fact, as you can see the sections there, it slides across. So one of these moves across and makes that into a double bed if you prefer. Big windows again, big hanging lockers again. And then this one has its ensuite here, like so. And the shower is in there. And this is the smallest cabin on the boat. It's still absolutely full size. Really nice heads. Standing headroom right the way through the whole cabin. Beautiful. If we cross over the corridor, we'll find the day heads is through this one. So that opens like that. And again, lovely big shower. These are all rainfall showers, as you can see. Storage up in places like this and a little wave in the mirror, like that. And you'll notice on this one, we come right back, that it's got a doorway here, and the reason for that is because that's also the ensuite for this cabin. Fantastic, really lovely cabin. Again, owner's cabin standard really, isn't it? Just vast. Those big windows, the opening porthole, and again, you've got wardrobe in here. The AV equipment again, and that's that doorway into that um, into that heads compartment, into the day heads. If we come out of here, you'll notice there's traps in the floor. These are access panels. So this one, for example, gets you down to the holding tank. So you can access that if you need to do any maintenance. And then we'll come on back again. I love this little concealed lighting in places like this. This is used for storage. So all the supplies are there. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Like so. And then finally we come back again. This then is the owner's cabin. Look at that. That is vast, isn't it? You've got this wonderful little area down here. So many little areas on this boat where you can come together or you can come apart, take yourself away. Just fantastic. Love this light. Some nice features. And then colour door out of the window. Beautiful. Another opening section. You've got a similar sort of thing then out on the other side of the boat. And then you've got this lovely dressing area over here and a load of storage. So let's come right the way across. There we go. You can see how that looks. That lifts up like so, that's stunning, isn't it? Wardrobes are back here. So this is, well, just <laughs> wardrobes and shelving. And it's another safe. And that one actually is a little fridge. So you can keep your drinks cool in there. You don't have to go very far if you need a drink in the night. And then, like so. And the other thing you have here, of course, is the ensuite. This is the biggest one in the boat, so it goes right across behind this cabin. And it puts a nice barrier, actually, between here and the engine space. We'll look at that in a minute. So things like generators, I mean, you just can't really hear them in here at all. Um, the toilet is here. You've got the twin sinks. Again, all nicely set up and ready. I love all these matching towels and dressing gowns and everything. It's fantastic. Rainfall shower. Beautiful. Let's look in here, shall we? Lovely. So that is the accommodation. We're going to take a look around the decks. So we'll look at the engine space. We'll look at the crew cabin as well. How amazing is that? Massive TV in here. Massive audio soundbar system. 
just superb. Okay, let's press on. Lots more to show you. Back out of here. I love this corridor up through the boat. You really get an impression of the size when you stand back here and look all the way up through it. But we're going to go this way now. Back up this staircase. What's in there? A bit more storage. Up to here. And then we'll come back out here. I'm going to show you the engines and the crew cabin next, I think, and then we'll work our way around the decks. So if we come back here, it's got stern handling winches. I'll talk about these as well. Again, for stern two berthing in the med, the whole idea is you hook up a line at the front of the boat, reverse in, and then you put your lines, or your warps, I should say, around these, and then you can winch the boat tight up against the key. So that's the idea of those. The button for that is there, it's a power winch. If we come right on back then, this is down to that swim platform. And that's that Williams 395 tender, really good size tender on there. And the name of the boat. Now the crew cabin access is here. So I'll push this little button, pull that one forward. There we go. This has been modified, boats.co.uk modified this. The standard layout is one big room. They've changed it and they've, because they've got three crew on this boat, what it means is that you've got a separate cabin here now. So that's a single cabin. And you've got storage in there as well, dotted around the place. Little window at the back as well, so that's nice. A little reading light. It's really nicely finished. The finishing here is pretty much get standard, to be honest. It's really nicely done. We come out of here and the toilet and shower. This has been made a little bit smaller in order to get this other cabin in. This was much bigger previously, but perfectly adequate. You've got the loo there and you've still got the separate shower area, like so. So that's all very nice. And then what you have, again, modified for this boat is over here. Well, first of all, laundry facilities are in here, of course. So you've got your washer and your dryer. And then if we go over here, they're still waiting for the door handle for this one from Sunseeker. This has literally just been done. This boat has just been put into service. Um, and it's had another bed added. So you've got a double bed here, single bed there. And that means, of course, if you've got two crew that don't want to share, then one can have this and one can have that. If you've got two crew who don't want to share, they can use the double. You probably wouldn't sleep three people in here at once. Uh, again, storage in here, hanging rail, all that kind of stuff is all there. And then if we go into here, we get to see the business end. This is spectacular. These are a pair of MAN, 1,550 horsepower engines. So these are a combined over 3,000 horsepower. They're V12s, they're absolutely immense. And those are giving the boat over 30 knots. So it's a properly fast boat for a big flybish boat, it's incredible. You'd cruise at about 20 to 25 and you get about probably 350 miles of range at that sort of speed. If you really want to up your range, what you do is drop right back to displacement speeds and you're probably closer to 1,000 miles then. There is a water maker on this one. There's two water makers as well, two water purifiers, in fact, because that one takes seawater and purifies it for fresh water. But also, there's another one over here and down to here. That one takes on dock water and then purifies it. So all the water is absolutely perfectly fresh. Stabilizer system is all here, so all the hydraulics for that. The chillers for the air conditioning are in here. There is an incredible amount of headroom. I like to say I'm six foot two, but look at this. I can only just reach the ceiling. It's absolutely vast in here. That's the Aventix controller for that joystick system. And also in here are two generators. They're both 27 kilowatts. So both of them are perfectly adequate, but with the two of them, of course, you've got the backup of those and the extra capacity if it was ever needed. The stabilizers on this one as well. If I can show you those, I can show you the inside at least. There we go, that's the stabilizer through there. So there's fins on the outside of the boat that stabilize it when it's underway or at rest. And come right on around here. That then is the uh, Victron system. So the uh, battery charging and the inverter and all that kind of stuff. You've got circuit breakers across here. Even a little hose, look at this. So if you're doing any cleaning anything up in here. It's so beautifully done. Very, very nice indeed. Excellent. Let's come out of here. 
and we'll take a twirl around the deck and finish up on the flybridge. There we go, that's shut. It's almost silent even here. There's just a faint hum. It's very, very impressive. OK, out through here. It's a big crew area for a sub 80 foot boat, that is. Really good. So, we'll come up here. Close that one over. There we go. And then head on around the decks. Very deeply bulwark decks, as you can see. You've got rope bins here in use. And this takes us on around. There we go, 76 yard. Teak decks on this one feels really nice underfoot. And if we have a wander up here, that's that side access door. So that's straight out from the lower helm. And then if we come right on up here, we've got deck gear is tucked away. It's nice to show you this boat all ready to go, actually, because I always talk about this stuff, but you never see deck gear in it when I open the lockers. Now you can. This is a brilliant area, such a social area up here. Loads of seating around here, loads more seating here, some beds here. I mean, that is an entire day out on its own, isn't it? It's fantastic. Um, fridges are up here as well. There's one here and another one on that side. That is the hatch that is over the forward cabin and then right up to the bow. And we've got obviously the anchor windlass, the anchor itself goes through the stem just there. That's a searchlight on the front. Fantastic. OK, let's press on back a bit further. Speakers are up here as well and lighting. So the hi-fi system is linked up through here. We'll come back down this side. And I think the last thing to do is the flybridge. Oh, it's a big boat when you walk around it, isn't it? Just superb. OK, we'll come right to the back. And then we'll head up and show you the top. Now, I have a slight confession to make because I'm not actually going to show you the whole flybridge because it's charter time, baby! Yay! <laughs> We've actually got this boat for the next few days. We're going to do some filming on here and we're going to show you what taking a charter on one of these boats is all about. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned. Catch you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.